What up, though? How's everyone doing today? Ah. Close on the old house. You did. Yeah. It was it was crazy. Like usually like everyone's in the same room, but because of COVID and I think the couple that I was buying the crib from was beefed out. So they were in separate like every there was like three separate rooms to close on this fucking house. Knock that shit out this morning. Nice. Gave him a little fucking check. Got the fuck in there. Watch my bank account go down to fucking looking anemic. I was like, ugh. And, uh, but, uh, I should be there after the first of the year or some shit. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Did all my house clothes and shit. I had to go sound like 50 things and then go talk to some city council people who had to do all this shit this morning city council what have to do with it yeah about taxes or something I don't know fucking some some shit I don't know fucking I'm new at this and it it seems like every fucking state or city has a different law so handle that though shout out to my man Corey fucking that's my realtor He'd be looking out. I swear to God, if you're like smart with a ounce of hustle, you could do really good in the real estate game. I feel like realtors are bad. Realtors are basically the same people that would become jewelry makers or, mas- or masseuses or fucking make candles or some shit like that they'll be like in their late 20s and not know what to do with their life and then they're just like oh I'll, be, I'll get a realtor's license and then they suck but if you're a good realtor you can fucking smash my realtor was good he knew what to look for knew how to negotiate knew, had some hustle to him some brain cells so good realtors can fucking smash. And you got a bunch of fucking income poops out there. Selling houses. So appreciate mine. Appreciate having a good realtor. I've had a bad one. I had a couple of bad ones and one good one. You can really tell the difference. I also learned that just don't go to your friends. I don't know how many times like people have been like yeah I just went to my friend they're a realtor and then they fucking ruin things and you're not friends anymore oh yeah yeah it's a lot of money a lot of money on the line yeah yeah I got a family member that like just ru- just ruined family relationships off of that shit she was trying to, she was trying to close she was trying to fucking she was trying to close before Christmas so she could get her kids more shit and like fucked over fucked over some other family members on the negotiation just because she wanted to get that closing done that's some old shitty shit that's some old shitty shit I guess yesterday when I was talking shit about that uh, I wasn't even talking shit when I was talking real about the fucking that female kicker Uh having no business kicking some chick got all mad at me I'm shocked. I, I didn't see like, that. You coming. told that girl to put a dick in her mouth to shut her up. I was like, the lady was. I, I didn't even say like the woman was like screaming on me for literally a minute straight. I couldn't even get a fucking word in it edgewise as she screamed on me. It's funny what people hear. You know what I mean? Like I'm sitting here getting abused by this lady. I fucking clap back, and then now she's fucking offended. And then she had the nerve. She was like, I listen for the music not to hear women get abused. I'm like, you're listening to rap music, you fucking moron. It's not known for women's rights. I don't I don't know if you've ever noticed that shit. I can go on my fucking iTunes and just pull up type in pimp. 
and list fucking 30 songs that are shitting on women. You fucking nincompoop. Yeah, she was like, yeah, I don't want to hear women get abused. I just want to, I just want to hear rap music. I'm like, uh, have you heard fucking rap music ever? I didn't, I just said that. She wrote some shit back. I didn't read it. Where did all this go down? Instagram? Yeah, it was a, just my oh. DM. My DMs, there was a bunch of busybody, like, women oh. fucking hitting me up. And there was some other lady who was talking to me about, like, a fucking abortion meme or something. She's like, you should use your thing to fucking talk about Planned Parenthood. Blah, blah, blah. No. No. How about, how about I should do whatever the fuck I want on my fucking page? That's the annoying shit when people hit you up and be like, you should do something positive on your page. Like, yeah, I'm using it to try to get people to buy books and read them. That's positive. How about you go look for a bunch of fucking memes, get a whole bunch of people to follow you, and then you could do whatever the fuck you want on your page. the fucking balls on some people I'm so glad I'm not that kind of person that hits people up and be like why don't you do this with your page I just let people be I'm more surprised they took the time to reach out to you do they have any idea what goes on on the show it's just well that and it's just like if you listen with a bit of nuance like these the arguments I make aren't fucking uh, if you actually think about them they're fucking I'm not making these ham-fisted arguments I'm making nuanced arguments that might rub you the wrong way but cuz it doesn't go with what I'm doing what the quote unquote conventional wisdom but like if you want conventional wisdom, go listen to the fucking 127 other goddamn stations that tell you all the same thing. I'm just telling you a different point of view the way I see things. It was a pro It was a pro abortion fucking uh it was a pro abortion uh meme. I thought I thought people like pro abortion shit. I refuse to say pro-life and pro-choice. I like to say pro-abortion and anti-abortion. Because that's what it is. Let's be real. I'm tired of these fucking euphemisms. Are you for killing babies or not? I am. I'm for killing babies. I don't... Uh... Well, once, you know, I, 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 we've already gone over... Once they got, like, hair on their head and some shit like that... Right. He, you gotta start breaking up a skull to get them out of you. Maybe, uh, maybe you waited a, little, a bit too long, but yeah, that's your line. Ahead, ahead of, yeah, I'm all for okay. killing babies. Totally. The soul's infinite. It'll come back. Whatever. And if you're not, and if you're uh, anti-killing babies, that's that's cool with me too. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. Whatever fucking floats your boat, man. I'm just a guy posting memes trying to get people to to read read some literature. That's all. How about this? Let's make a deal. Before you hit me up to fucking tell me what to do on my page or my radio show, just buy something. And then um, I'll listen to you. Be like, hey, I got your book and I got an idea. And I'll be like, ah, oh, let me listen to you. You're a paying customer. Until, you, until then, you can fuck the fuck off. How's that? Go nag your husband or boyfriend or cat or whatever the fuck you have. Probably got a dog that you call your baby because nobody will impregnate you. I put my career first. Um, I stand by what I say. I stand by what I said yesterday and what I say today. So, blam. And I'm going to be saying more shit because I'm giving out fucking advice. 
It's what would you do? It's today. Fucking saving the world one person at a time. The Jude way. The motherfucking Jude way. All right. Without any further ado. Did I already go in on everybody that I needed to? Yeah, I, th- I think you went to the list. I think everyone's handled. <laughs> uh, did I? For real? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm sure you forgot somebody who's going to get You somebody. should fucking do this and that. I'm like, I was reading. I'm like, this bitch out her motherfucking rabbit ass mind. Like... I'm not. Gonna, I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna respond to. It. I'm not gonna type shit back. But I will talk about her on the fucking air. You should tell people about fucking whatever. What is it? Planned Parenthood. Da da da. Like I don't give a fuck about Planned Parenthood. If I gotta, if I gotta inform people about Planned Parenthood, like you, you still don't know about Planned Parenthood. Go fucking lay down in traffic, you moron. Um. You're too dumb to be following me. Uh, but that's just my own humble opinion. It's not like they don't have brand awareness. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. What's this Planned Parenthood I've heard so much about? They're out there. It's where they scrape the kid out of you and give you some rubbers, send you on the way. Send you on your way. Yeah, I think they'll even give you a... Uh, you know what the crazy shit is? Is I'm fucking for abortions, but I'm against birth control. Go figure. It's very confusing. Have you ever been I to think a- it fucks with the chick... It fucks with the chick's hormones. Sure. On a certain level. Yeah. But it's not as as dramatic as I think you, you imply. I don't know, man. And there's all this birth control that's in the water and shit. The birth control, birth control, and fucking opiates and fucking antidepressants is is seeped into our water sources. So now we get to drink that shit. Thanks. Well, there's some thanks, sense. ladies. You yeah. get you get to fuck guys with no strings attached, and I got to drink your goddamn birth control that you fucking pissed out and flushed down the toilet. Those damn females. Those damn females. <laughs> Whatever. It made it's, it made it easier for me to fuck. So I, I you know, you got to take the good with the bad. You got to take the good with the bad. Back in the day before birth control, there was that was pre-sexual revo- uh, revolution. That's when they had to be picky about who they gave the pussy out to. They, they gave the birth control. Psh, fucking open up the open up the floodgates. Time to get some dick. Ain't that right, ladies? Whole new culture. So I'm all for that shit. Yeah. Um, it's positive. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I, I like the idea of it. I just don't think it's good for women. Fucks with their hormones, man. They get all crazy and shit. That would explain some things in my past, but who knows? I'm saying, bro. Like, they've had tests. Makes chicks crazy. I remember, my, I remember my ex when she tried to get on it, man. It was a, it was a, that was a long two months, man. We were like fucking fighting all the fucking time. And you really pointed the birth control as a contributor. Oh, factor. it was definitely the birth. It was definitely the birth control was doing like did a number on her. Because you got to figure out the hormone level. Everyone's got their own little. It's like. It's like a recipe. It's like, ah, too much of this, too much of that. So, like, they gave her the wrong recipe, and she was a fucking maniac. And bloody as fuck, too. Jesus Christ, I remember fucking her in a... Smashing in a goddamn uh, Hard Rock Hotel with the lights off and turned it on. It looked like... Like a goddamn saw or some shit like that. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking... A murder scene. <laughs> Yo, for real. I was like, let's get out of here. Surprisingly, I, didn't, I think it was it was so bloody that they didn't even charge us. You know what I mean? They were just like, uh, just throw everything out, burn it. They put we didn't get charged for shit. Put you on the list. It was one of those deals. Like if it was like, if, if it was like a little bit of blood, they would have hit us up for the rope. But it, the whole place was so bloody that they were just like, ah, uh, fuck it. 
seven thousand dollars worth of damage here like like let's just skip it we don't we don't need to know shout out to hard rock chicago that was, mm. that was a while ago um all right we got what would you do and we got the news and i think that's about it don't go anywhere you're listening to the all out show with you hey there hey there friend how you doing you going through a thing you need to talk to somebody well i'm not a licensed therapist or psychologist or even a psychiatrist or any of them ists or gists none of that shit but i am a life coach and i can help you i can help you make it through the i can help you make it through the night i can help i can help you get through it you having problems with your girl call me up ladies are you having problems with your man i am a man i know how we think call me up having problems with your job fucking call me up it's different rules it's different rules than what you're used to i'll tell you them kid problems call me up the only shit i don't do is legal If you got a law problem, lawyer up. That's that's my answer to all of you. So don't even call up. Just lawyer up. Anything else? I got you. 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. I'm here to help you. I'm here for you. So what would you do? And it's coming up next. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. It's like a ray of light beaming down knowledge from the heavens above. <laughs> what would you do? Oh. Need advice? Call us up right now. <laughs> now, eat, 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 shade 45. What would you do? You do. Shade, shade 45. I'd solve all your problems. That's what the fuck I do. Call up 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. I'm here for you. Uh, what is, uh, what's the problem? Who we got? Got Alana in Texas. Alana. Hey, what's up? My boyfriend of two years all of a sudden decided that he doesn't want me in the house anymore. He says he still loves me, but he won't allow me to go work because there's other men around and he won't let me speak to other men and I don't know what to do. You need to break up with him. I mean, I still love him. He says he loves me, but, you know, yeah, he's trying like, to go that's through the process. Con- of the- that's pretty fucking controlling, dude. Like, you're not allowed to go to work. You're not allowed to talk to anybody of the opposite sex. Were you in nope. fucking... Were you in goddamn fucking Yemen or some shit like that? Like, fuck you're, <laughs> What the fuck is this, dude? Like, he's, he's he don't he he don't let me work nowhere. He won't let me talk to the opposite sex anywhere. I go stores, anything. If I even look their direction, he trips out. Yeah, he's he's and really he says insecure. It's not because he, you know. I bet you it made you feel like special at first, but like, yeah, uh, he's just insecure. Yeah. What's his background? I, so you think I should just leave? What's his background? I mean, he's got like eight. He's got eight kids. He's got eight kids with five different women, and I mean, sh- I'm the girl, only one that. Are you fucking kidding me? How much do you hate yourself? <laughs> Pretty much a, a lot a these lot. days, dude. I'm really I know a point. lot. I don't know what yeah. the hell to do anymore. I don't know. You need to break up with them. Go get some fucking therapy and figure out like why you're getting ran by a guy that's got fucking eight kids with five different chicks. Yeah. Like that's not healthy. It's it's, it's hard to. Yeah, it definitely isn't. I just like I mean, did, did you? He tells me he still loves say, me like. Fuck what fuck what how he feels. Fuck how he's what he says. What is he doing? He goes fuck to his, work, he does deliveries and that's it. No, 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 no. You're fucking hey, I'm saying with you. What is he doing with you? He's got it where you can't work. Not a he's motherfucking got it where you thing. Can't. We don't we don't go nowhere. We don't do shit. Like we're just we do nothing. Yeah, you why don't you just you you're gonna have to drop kick this motherfucker. 
and then work on getting work on yourself so that you can like yourself a bit i don't know if if you have any interests or anything like that like get into that build your self-esteem up right now your self-esteem's in the shitter you got no yeah. self-esteem so you got you got to work on building up your self-esteem Google how to build my self How do I do that? Like Google it. I don't know. Like do I, I just that? told I uh I don't know. Pick some pick some uh goals and then reach those goals. That helps build self esteem. All right. Shit like that. All right. Yeah. But, uh, All right. But you need to get away from him. Come on, man. Come on, man. Five <laughs> five baby mamas, eight kids. Like, come on. Yeah, it's it's come, it's old come. already. <laughs> yeah, and you've been with her for how many years? Two, a little over Ugh. two. <laughs> what? What? All what? Right, well, where in your fucking your brain advice, where you're yeah. like this? Where? Where in your brain was like, oh, this is a motherfucking catch right here. Let me get this delivery driver with fucking five <laughs> baby mamas. This motherfucker Man, is a him, catch. When I met him, he was he was on that legal shit, and he was so fucked up. And I got him off it. He turned into a better person, but then oh, now like he's just dudes. like on my ass twenty four seven. Yeah, you like to save motherfuckers so you don't have to look at yourself in the mirror. You, you're mm. a, you're a you're a doormat. Okay. You to be a, I'm gonna take that advice and, I, and I, I'm gonna yeah. get some help for myself. Yeah, you need to, cause you gotta stop. Cause I ain't trying to be no door to match nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's see, yeah. Look at you. You you want to save them, so you don't have to save yourself. Save yourself first, and then then you can work on saving other people. Clear, clearly, you're not there, you. cause cause you're fucking eating shit from a guy with fucking five baby mamas. I I don't even want to see his paycheck if they're all getting them on fucking child support. It's probably seven dollars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Coupon clipping ass motherfuckers. Yeah, they are. yeah, yeah. You fucking getting taxed? Ramen noodles so every night. It's more of like a a control thing or like like. Yeah, and he's probably yeah, cheating well, on I, your ass. I mean, yeah, he says he doesn't, but you know, yeah, I mean, common is. sense, you know. Anybody is that protective and shit like that? They put they they're usually like they're usually projecting. So he's probably fucking cheating on your yeah. ass too. So there you go. Take think about that too while while you're at it. You got, you got a lot of fucking negatives yeah. here. All right, I, we yeah. fixed that problem. We, I told you what to do. It's, now it's up to you to fucking follow through. All right, let's go to James, also in Texas. James, hey, in Texas. What's, on? So, what's the answer? So. I just got recently engaged, and uh, our plan has been to go to Colorado the 26th of December for a week. And my dumb ass decided to go on a fucking week-long drive to Oregon, take some Adderall and some fucking meth. And uh, she's she moved out, and now she's saying she's not she's not going to go to Colorado uh, for the vacation. I fucking so she now. She, she, uh, so she found out that you did meth and Adderall and got bummed out. What a bitch! Yeah, more so just fucking driving to Oregon, fucking for a week and and bailing, fucking picking up a bunch of bud. I mean, she's she's fucking man. Pissed. It's like you guy can't even smoke meth anymore without his fucking girl getting all bent out of shape. <laughs> The f where the fuck do we live? Is this America or what? Like, this is some bullshit. Yeah. Tighten your yeah, shit up there, champ. Don't like it. Tighten it up, champ. You're fucking, you're, you're, tighten it up, champ. You're fucking up. You're fucking up. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing you went out there to get some money. Yeah. You went out to, you went out to Oregon to get money. Yeah. Was that it? Yeah, uh, yeah, and it all yeah, worked but out. I get it, but like, you can't be doing the whole meth and bike shit um yeah you know it's just a i mean i'm i'm talking with her you know what i mean like she got an apartment and shit and i'm, I'm i've been staying there a little bit and but she's still fucking saying she's not coming to colorado she took off work and now she whenever all this shit happened she told her work i i'm not going so i'll work 
you know, so I can't, I don't Wait, know what the fuck to she, do. To try she to, took off work to hang out with you and then you just went to Oregon? Nah, she she told work in advance about the trip to Colorado. So she had that week oh. off of work. Well, whenever this shit happened, she told her work, hey, I'm not going out of town so I can work now. So that's mm. her fucking... How did she find out that she was smoking I, meth? Fucking a buddy... A buddy I'm, I was up there with, his, his ex, is friends with her, and I guess he fucking told her about the the Adderall situation. She kind of put two and two together. I was fucking mm. geeked out. Fucking Right. All right. Yeah. I mean, Dude, why don't you get a handle on that fucking. shit there, champ? Get a handle on that shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Everybody yeah, I, I know, know with long-term you, meth you, habits, they're kind of like, they end up kind of shitty. You know what I mean? Like, is that really what you want for yourself? I fucking hate tweakers. Hell no, man. Hell well, no. you're going to be one. Drive and fucking, I yeah, get it. Shit, right? Fuck that. Right? I get it. I don't know what to do to try to get her convinced to fucking to come to Colorado. You think that's done? You think she's fucking count my blessings? How long? Even you, talking to her? Fucking. Wait, how long are you supposed to, Colorado's just supposed to be for like a week or some shit? Yeah, it's a week snowboarding trip. We got to man. Just to go look, give give her some. Be like, hey, look, I understand why you're mad at me. I'm gonna go down there. You you get some time to you take some time to yourself, and I'll I'll uh and let let's reconvene when I get back. Yeah. You don't get to you don't get to have yeah, everything. Or, you know what I mean? Like you don't get to fucking you don't get it all. You right. sacrifice nah, right, you sacrifice man. your little snowboard trip when you started fucking smoking meth in Oregon. Right you are, no doubt, dude. Appreciate it, man. Right. Keep your head up, man. Mm. Try right. try to stay off All stay right, off bro. that fucking pookie. Uh eight 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 seven four two three three four five. I'm here to help. I've got Brittany over in Queens. Hey Brittany. Hey, what's up? So I'm um, having a problem with my 11 year old son. Um, what's what's going he's on? He's really him? messing up in school. Yeah, he's okay. messing up in school a lot. Like he's sending in blank work. Um, he don't be um, paying attention in the class because you know they online now. So um, yeah. I'm trying to talk to him several times, take his game away. Um, I be making him do push-ups, sitting on the wall, all of that, and it's just not. I'm, I can't can't get through to him. You know, um, I'm so not with his father took- anymore. Anymore. You you took his game away. You're making him do push ups and all of that shit, but yep. he's still fucking up in class. Yeah, he's like they don't phase him. But my, yeah. I think the blame is like maybe his his father because you know his father ain't shit. You know, he's not in his life. He don't answer his calls and nothing. But I don't know how to get through to him. Like I don't know. What to do. Yeah, it's 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 hard to be a, a be that masculine fucking energy that the kid needs. Um what about yeah. your dad? Is he around or not? Nah? Oh yeah, he's my my dad is my my homie. Like, Maybe he can help a bit and be that be the man and fucking do help. Yeah, help but you I dis- just help you discipline. Like, oh, did you? Yeah. Sounds like you got look, yeah, man. There's a lot moved. going on. I I hate to be like take it yeah. easy on him, but like it's fucking like yo, man. Like can't nobody do shit. Everyone's locked in the fucking house. People are spazzing out. Like. Yeah. I'm not excusing yeah. his behavior. I think you're doing the best you can with it, but uh, and stay on that and just yeah. keep subtracting things from his life. And I like yeah. the idea of the yeah, push-ups. Yeah, he's an and, advanced student. Like he's in all advanced classes. So, yeah. have you talked to him? What What did he? What did Did you ask why he's not doing he's his work? Like, or yeah, he's like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, what? Like, I can't get through to him like at all. Like. Uh, okay. Um, this one's a hard one, man. Uh, it sounds like you're doing everything like <laughs> you can. It sounds like you're doing everything you can do. Sometimes kids are just fucking hard headed. The good thing is, is that he's not a dumbass. Um, <laughs> and maybe that perhaps this is just a phase. Try to be patient, but stay yeah, on him so. and, and, and let him know that this is unacceptable. And, you yeah. know. Yeah. Stay, stay on his fucking head. I, I like the push-ups idea and all that shit. Like, man, these kids are, you know. Yeah. This is this is new territory for everybody. We're all bouncing off the fucking walls here, man. It's fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah weird times. Right. 
I'm not excusing it. I'm just I'm I'm just explaining it. And the fact that his pops ain't around to help to help fucking ground his ass. But yeah. stay on him because kids need boundaries. It makes them feel safe. So fucking stay on him and stay and don't take it easy on his ass. All right, thanks, man. And give yourself a break. You, you know, some like look. Uh, I was fucking classic. Uh, I don't know what anybody could have done. You know what I mean? Like, I just was strong-willed and was a fuck-up. And, like, you know. I could have been on punishment forever. It wouldn't have fucking mattered, you know. I wasn't going to do anything. So, just give yourself a break. But stay. It sounds like what you're doing is pretty good so far. Uh, yeah, thanks, though. Yeah. All right. Sorry, sorry your kid's fucking up. Got Mike over in Brooklyn. Yeah. Hey, Mike in Brooklyn, you? what up? What up, man? What's your problem? What's going on? Listen, I enjoy listening to you. Listen, I got four kids with my girl, mm. and we're not working out. She's trying to control my life, and I want to leave, but it's hard. Right. Cause, you know, I want to be together with the kids and all of us be a family, but she make it How's she trying to control you? I just want to say fuck it. How's man, she, she trying to control me you? who I should talk to, who I can't talk to. You know, telling me to not be friends with people I knew since fucking elementary school. You Is know, there reasons? Fucking... Man, I don't know. She thinks I'm talking to other women, which I'm not. You know, I work long hours. I work like 14 hours a day. You know, especially right. through this pandemic that's going on. I'm trying to make my extra bread and stuff. Right. But she, right. thinks I'm, she thinks I'm messing around. You know, she got me She got me on shared location. Asked me, what are you doing at this location? What are you doing at this location? I'm like, yo. You need to fucking breathe. And it's getting to the point. I was like, yo, I, I can't do this shit no more, man. Like, you didn't even. Uh, well, it, yeah, not. it's almost like you allowed her to fucking behave a certain way for a certain amount of time. And now you're fucking pushing back on it when you probably shouldn't have done the whole shared location thing. You you can be like, look, it, man, it, I'm, it, we're. It, we're, it we're wasn't like this in the beginning. I know, but, like, why don't you just be like, we're not doing shared location anymore. It doesn't fucking matter because you don't trust me anyway. That yeah, was that, a privilege. That's what I told her. She, she, she keeps telling her, oh, get the fuck out. I'm like, you can get the fuck out. You get the fuck out. You know, I don't want the kids in the middle. She, in her mouth, she got a strong personality with yeah. do this shit in front of the kids. I'm like, yo, don't do this in front of the kids between me and you. It sound, Yeah, it sounds to me like you knocked up a fucking psychopath. Yeah. Four times. I, I, um, yeah. <laughs> you knocked up a psychopath, and the funny thing is, is like you could hey, be like, listen, "Bitch, I'll burn this not... shit down," and she, she she's gonna have the fucking can of gasoline to help. Um, so like, you can't even out crazy her fucking ass. Uh, look, just be like, I'm not going anywhere. Well, she like she doesn't even, like my family don't even like us. My mom don't even like it, which I don't care, you know. But the fact is. No, she don't even want me talking to my family. She doesn't even want to no. talk to my friends that I grew up with because they see her side. They're like, yo, that bitch is crazy. You ain't happy with her to leave the bitch. But I'm doing it for the kids. It's like, I'm telling myself. How old are the kids? Fuck the kids, man. The oldest is 12 and is 7, 6, and 5. Well, so you got like 13 years of this shit? Jesus fucking yeah. Christ. Well, um, like I said, it wasn't like this in the beginning. But when did it turn? Kids, did you cheat or some shit or not? Nah? Yeah, but that was way in the beginning. It's not. All right, so I she cheated. Cheat. But... All right, oh, okay, so you cheated, and now she's like still a psycho off of this. You guys need to go to get some yeah. therapy. Yo, we did. I cheated like fucking seven years ago, and this bitch is still wanting shit. Uh, yeah, like, I understand. Yo, it, that's it. Was, yeah, yeah. You need to sit her ass down. And be like, I get it. You don't trust me off the cheating. I haven't done it in a long time. You can't keep. You gotta. You gotta forgive me, and you gotta start trusting me, or else this is not gonna fucking work. But it sounds to me like she doesn't want it to work anyway. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Sometimes I really don't. I'm just like planning my fucking planning, and just getting the fuck out and be like, fuck it, you know. But like I said, I gotta be there for the fucking kids, and I don't want to be an asshole. But I have to be an asshole sometimes. I gotta get the fuck out if I ain't happy. Save some money and lawyer up. Save some money and yeah. Save some save some money and lawyer up and go talk to every good lawyer in town so she can't get them. Okay. 
there you go i'm not saying to break up but just be ready it sounds to me like this is gonna like this this has one place to go yeah Yeah, this this sounds like it's got one place to go and that's fucking splitsville so fucking yeah or or you or it's either splitsville or you're gonna be a total fucking bitch like so which one do you want you know what i mean like i'm probably splitsville now you're you're right exactly because there's no point is that you just said it right i'm gonna I don't want to be a bitch. I'm like, I got to get the fuck out of the situation. And I don't want yeah. to be a bitch, but the yeah. bitch side of me comes when I care about the kids. Because, you know, my father left me when I was two years old. And I promised her, like, I ain't going to do this shit. Yeah, I, I understand. Hey, hey, look, it's yeah. You, you don't you don't got to leave the kids. You can still be around them. That's what I'm saying. Get a good get. Start putting some money aside and get a good lawyer. That's all I'm saying. You're running all these extra uh, hours. Start put a little fucking put a little. Nest egg, hide some 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 money someplace and get a decent lawyer, um, and and be ready and and try to make it work while you're doing this shit. But have a have a fucking contingency plan in case shit goes to where it's gonna go. Yeah, of course. Right. I mean, yo, Christmas is coming up. I don't feel like getting her shit. <laughs> Uh, get her something, well, whatever. You know, it. get get like I feel like if you don't get her anything, it's, it'll just give her one more thing to fucking yell at you for. So, get her some, get her something, get her, get her whatever, and just try to make the try to make the most try try to try to do the best of it, but prepare for the worst because I think it's gonna go bad. Uh yeah, I know. <laughs> and don't beat well, yourself up. You can still be there for the kids. You don't have to be married to be there for the kids. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. I mean, that's the thing. I wasn't gonna be a father figure. I just, you know, I don't want them to see this fucking shit. How it's gonna play out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's kind of forcing your hand. She's like trying to turn you into a bitch. Like you don't want that. You're gonna exactly. become a man that you, you're gonna become a man that you hate, and that she hates. So don't. All right, who's next? Let's go to uh, Dexter in Atlanta. Dexter. Hey, what's up, Jew? What's up, John? How y'all doing? I'm good. John's bad because hey. he's ugly. Um, go ahead. Hey, man, I got a terrible boss. i uh, been working for her for eight years. She came in. We probably had like 50-some people. She told us we weren't working when she first walked in the door. Uh, now we're down to 10. Uh, she tried to get me for a hostile work environment. It didn't work out. Nothing happened to her for slander. Uh, I took the high road. I um, tried to get along with her, so we kind of get along now, but I got a um, a, a great appraisal, and I got an exceptional, and I went up the chain of command like five people higher than her and got no reward, no, no cash award, no payday off, no nothing. And I got three years left to deal with this bitch. 60 years old, no kids, no yeah. husband, no life. Yeah. Um, I say fuck the high road shit, and every time she does something, go tell on her to HR. This is not, like, I say it over and over again. Like, this is not the real world. This is a working world, and it's like whoever tells first wins. So, Get started. Well, the chain start. of command is just as sorry as she is, Jude, and and HR yeah, but, ain't, ain't worth yeah, just words of piss either. So I, I understand, but you as long as as long as you have it, as long as you have it documented. uh documented, if it have if it has to go to litigation, at least you got some some bullets for your gun. Yeah, it's miserable, man. It's miserable when you're smarter than the people you're working for. Kind of like you and John. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, I know. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just times. just joking, John. I love you, man. I love the yeah. show. I just Thanks. I just don't know if I can even do three more years, man. I'm just so. Down. How how many years have you done? Decide. Well, look, I've man. Over you, twenty. I just need look. to do three more for the age. You know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, man. You, know, you can do that. With, you can do that standing on your head. Don't take shit so personal. But you know what? Everybody says that it doesn't have to do the three years in my situation. Everybody says the same thing. Oh man, three years will go quick. You can do that standing Dude. on your head. You can do that running backwards. Yo, man. I've I've had to I've had to do a I've had to do fucking stretches working with shitty people 
here at Sirius. It's uh, stretches, and it fucking sucks. And the best way I do deal with it is just try not to take it home with me. And it fuck and, and like, look, I'm not gonna bullshit you. I I lose sleep. I've been stressed out. Yeah. But you, but here's the deal, man. You got twenty, so you got twenty years invested in this one. Like, just fucking eat your medicine and and also to protect yourself, start telling. Like that's <laughs> th- that's that's the rules. Like those are the rules for fucking. Those are the rules for 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 the workplace. It's tell, tell, tell. All that stop snitching shit. First yeah. off, let's let's be real. Even even like it it even even like out in the street, these motherfuckers are rats now. Uh, so like that's that the game's changed over there, but it's extra extra. Go go to HR. You know what I'm saying? Hostile. Do the same mm-hmm. thing for a hostile work environment. Yep, I'm I'm being harassed. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Just get, just get it, get emails, just emails yeah. to HR, get your, get your paper motherfucking, trail. you need yeah. that paper trail, I keep saying it, you need the fucking paper trail, and uh, try well, not to engage, years of it. I just don't see All right, any yeah, there you go. light at try, the end of try, the tunnel, you know. Yeah, try not to engage, and, and like, look, man, this is, this is not someone that hasn't been through some shit, that's telling you, telling you that you can't, that you that you can't do three years. I've trust me. I've had to do fucking. How many years I've been working with you, John? Uh, I think we're looking at about five years, maybe. Five years I had to work with this fucking asshole. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, feels like twenty, doesn't it? It did. Yeah, yeah. the first three I just wanted you to die, and then uh, I just got I just figured out a way to work with them. Mm. But like, yeah, like so, yeah, I feel you. Keep your head up. You got this shit. You're almost done. You're twenty years deep. It's too. It's like it. You fucking losing your shit now is like someone dropping out six six weeks before graduation date. You know what I mean? Like you came this far, just yeah. just fucking breathe. It's just fucking. mentally draining, though. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean yeah. You don't even want to go in. You know, you're just like, what is it going to be today? You know, it's like, what what was she? Don't, think of stop today? taking it personal, bro. Like, stop taking it personal. Like stop taking it personal. Just try to try to let try to let it roll off your back. I'm not saying that you won't take it personal, but like just try to stop taking it personal. Um and and just deal. Twenty years, Doug. Okay. Twenty years. Get 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 your three years in. Yeah. You can do it. You can do it. All right, man. You All guys right. take yep. care. I appreciate it. All right, bro. Peace, man. Got Ryan up in Oregon. Fucking sucks. I feel for him, but you know. So, G. What up, though? Just chilling. What's yeah. your problem? Been pretty depressed. Like fucking. I quit my job from like you know, all this COVID bullshit and. You like, quit your job because of COVID? How come? Well, I didn't quit it. Like, kind of lost it. But oh, you lost your job because of COVID. Yeah. At least, at least you didn't like, die was, from COVID. I was, I was run, Yeah, I was like running an event center, but but ain't no oh. events going on right now. You know. Right, right, right. All right. So you got to figure out how to pivot. Yeah, this is tough, man. This is we're in a really fucking tough time. Um, I don't, I don't know what you got to do next. You got to figure out how to pivot and how to like breathe through it. Right now, it feels like we're like on some weird house arrest and no one knows the release date. No so shit, it, man. So it's hard. Like, it's yeah. hard to fucking keep going. Um, but you, you got no choice. Um, fucking. Yeah, I, I know. But like, like, Hey, look, even, I can even, I, even, even the bigger thing is like, like, like working in a place like that, man. Like I used to fuck mad bitches and like, now I don't even have the will to do it. Yeah, I fit, no, I I hear you. Look, like, look, man, I've been a, I've been lucky enough to keep my job, and it's affected me in a really negative way. So, uh, so, like, so just, you you like, going through that is it's even worse. I don't know what to tell you, but like, just try to keep pushing. Try to find stuff that you're grateful for in your life. 
and uh, th try to be flexible and look at other places where you can work and, and get your mind off shit and get the fuck out of the house. I mean, even me, dude, yeah, I was like looking I at do, Tim Hortons. I, I, yeah, I was like about to start working at Tim Hortons for, for, for the first part of the day because I was just like, I don't know what else to fucking do. Like, shit is, shit, I'm going to go fucking crazy. Everything shut yeah. down. It's fucking nuts. Oh yeah, like I. I, I not, yeah, you know. no, no one addresses no no one addresses like the fucking mental damage that it's doing to civilians out here. Suicides are up. Every, every, everything ODs are up. Self self damage is up. Everything's up. But they're keeping you safe. There you go. Um, just just keep pushing, bro. Keep your head up. You're not alone. Know that you're not alone. Even though. No, I know I'm not. I, I know it doesn't matter, but like I know it doesn't matter when you're in the moment. But uh, focus on the shit that you're grateful for, and look to pivot to to some other spot because it sounds to me like you need to get you need to get some work going, or else you're gonna fucking go crazy. Yeah, been going crazy. All right, so th there's there's jobs, so you just got to go out there and fucking find find one. You drive for Uber. But why the f why the what? Why are we in some like, draconian I, fuck? Why are we why why are we in a draconian lockdown? I don't fucking know. Like I don't know. Like I don't have the answers for that. All I know is that's where we're at. Yeah, but like, is my depression like killing me because I don't want to fuck bitches? Like, no, I think that's just a symptom of your depression. You're depressed, therefore you don't want to fuck bitches. It's not the other way around. I'm not. It's not I mean, you. like I can pull some. I can pull some fucking fine ass fucking bitches, but like, man, you sound dumb. I get them over here, then I just. You sound dumb. Like, you sound dumb. I was. I was really trying to help and commemorate and feel and commiserate and like feel for you. Now you're just talking about pulling bitches. Now so he's back on the bitches. Not yeah. I don't know what to fucking tell you. There's bitches out there. Uh, go get another job and pull some bitches. That's what it is. What the hell is Tim Hortons? Is that a restaurant? It's like a fucking bagel and coffee place. Oh. I literally was like, oh, maybe I'll just work mornings there or some shit. Do it. Yeah, I might. Fucking. I don't know if the I don't know if the fucking hire me. Yeah. Was, they're gonna look at you sideways. What's up yeah, with that right. guy? Yeah, they're like, uh, you you have a career. Why do you want to work here for? <laughs> What's going on with him? Like, by the time we train you, you're gonna fucking leave. I'm like, maybe. Um, I don't know. Uh, it won't be the first time I work a a regular job while I fucking do this radio shit. Um, but yeah, no, I get it. it I get it. It's like try, just trying to trying to please do time. that. Please do that. It's easy. I would find that en endlessly hilarious. Please do that. At least for a couple of weeks. Let me let me Come get on. all my all shit. Right. Fuck it. Let me move and get all my shit taken care of, and then I'll fucking start. All right. If if I'm still going crazy, I'll go get a job at a fast food place. All right. Oh. Awesome. Okay. All right. Okay. There it is. B up in Deal. Alberta, Canada. D. Hey, what's up, Judy? Man, that last call, I fucking had bitches. Eh? Okay, so my ride-or-die boy is in a very toxic relationship. Uh, he came to me and my friend a couple weeks ago saying, I need help. Um, uh, he, he told us everything, and I was going to help him stay at my place. And now three weeks have gone by, and the guy, you know, back with her, um, posting lame-ass pics on Insta and all this shit. And I am busted up about trying to make him feel accountable for it and say, like, look, you have to leave. She's violent. She's got some crazy in her blood. Um, you got to let him go, bro. I, you got to let, let him go. He's he's lost. You lost okay. him. It's over. He came to you. You tried to help him. And what did he do? He went back to her. Just fucking yeah. cut, his, cut his ass off. I wouldn't even hang out with him. That's where it's at because I don't want to encourage that relationship, and it's just yeah, it's, it's you know, like a dope man. fiend or some shit like that. You don't want to you don't want to hang out with some, while someone's nodding off and fucking dope. You know what I mean? Like same deal. You don't want to hang yeah. out with him while he's getting beasted on by his fucking girlfriend. Like just cut his ass off. He hollered yeah. at you. He knew it was a problem. He he he, 
you were there to help him change it, and he didn't want to change it, so fuck him. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this to the grave, Jude. Hey, you should. I've had homies like that where I just I've I've had homies where I'm just like I can't watch you get punked on by your fucking girl have fun I'll be over here holler at me when you're done getting fucking shit on and I'll probably look at you different forever so there it is Uh, yeah holler at me over here I hear you man yeah your boy's bitch made he got a little bitch in him he just he like he likes he likes getting punked on some people do some people don't they use all the time yeah yeah I ain't sure you can do about it. You can't change it. It's, it's in his nature. It's in his fucking yeah, nature. You're not yeah. gonna, and and if you try to save him, you, you're like Captain Save a Ho. You trying to save a, some bitch ass dude? Like, what's that make you? Well, that's what I ask myself. Why? Why? Why do I care so much? So. Yeah. So just let it go, bro. It's done. It's over. It's a wrap. All right. Who else right. we got? It's Dunzo. Uh, let's look at Bree in Indianapolis. Bree, how many more we got to do? Uh, I mean, we could play a song and then come back and do All right, want to play a song. We'll okay. play a song, come back and do some more. Okay. All right, peace. Oh. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. Are we on? We are on, my friend. Right. Hey. <laughs> You got a problem? Call up 888-742-3345. I'm on my couch. and Yeah. I'm exactly. here to help you. It's like ther- it's like real therapy, except for I'm the one laying on the couch. Call up right now, 888-742-3345, 888-742-3345. It is, what would you do? What is your problem? Mitchell in Tampa, Florida. Mitchell. Judy, so What's up, man? the moms around the neighborhood, they pretty much caught this guy trying to lure this little kid to the car. Um... This is a couple of weeks ago. Basically, didn't get the kid. Called the police. Police didn't do anything about it. Today, they sent me the picture saying they saw the dude there, the same car. I beelined it. I beelined it to the park, and I got his plates. I followed him home. I watched him put his keys in his door, and I know where he lives. And I just, the police won't do a thing about it unless he actually commits a crime. And I'm just, oh, man, I'm heated. This happened like 30 minutes ago. I'm heated. And you know for sure this is him because the worst thing you like the last thing you want to do is like put hands on somebody that is an innocent person. You know, via pictures, via pictures, they said, "Hey, you try to lure him with a baseball." They got pictures of him closing the door, throwing the baseball on his dashboard, and then driving off. And they got his plates. And then, sure enough, and it's hard to miss his car because it's green with his beige trunk. All right. So well. I got his plate, so. And you do whatever you need to do. <laughs> he's this old guy, man, and he's sitting at a park in the in the in the middle of a forest. Like, there's no reason for him to sit at that park. No yeah, reason. Yeah. The fact that they caught his ass. Mm, <sighs> I know where he lives, and I just it's like right now. Be careful. Information like if a kid be gets stolen, I'm gonna beeline it to his house. Well, but, I'm just saying. All I'm saying is, whatever you decide to do is be smart and be careful. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. That's it. I'll, I'll, I'll cover my plates and pull up. Oh man, I will. Cops won't do anything because they, they you you the you saying that is not being careful. <laughs> <laughs> fucking be careful. Damn. That's all I'm saying. Man, fuck him, bro. I'm, all right, man. Bye. Yeah. Street justice. Jesus Christ, fucking. I understand what you're saying. Just shut the fuck up. Before you get yourself in trouble. Got Ethan. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Ethan in New York. Ethan. Dude, how's it going? I'm uh, so I'm still having sex with my girl, even though we broke up, and she's taking me to court now. Now she doesn't want me to visit my child, but I'm trying to figure out what the hell should I do? Should I still keep having sex get, with her? Or? Get a really good lawyer. Yeah, I'm working on that, but you yeah, that's your number one thing, man. If you don't lawyer the fuck up, chicks have all the rights to the kids. I don't know if you've noticed that here in America, but uh I think they they get they get custody eighty percent of the time roughly. So why don't you focus on getting a good attorney 
instead of fucking some woman that's trying to fuck you unless you can fuck her into joint custody can you fuck her into joint custody well that's what i'm trying to do right now i'm trying to get her to where me and her are on the same page so you know something can work out but she's all right so i don't know man you use use your dick to manipulate her and get a really good lawyer in case that doesn't work right there you go. All the right. two pronged the two pronged attack. The two pronged attack. Sounds good. There you go. Bam. Fucking I feel for y'all cats. I feel I feel for y'all dudes. They'll take they'll take the fucking kid away and then be caught call the guy a deadbeat. I'm like, all right. Uh eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Katie up in Michigan with you. Hey, Katie in Michigan. Hey, how are you? Um, my boyfriend passed away last Monday, and his family is cutting me out of the funeral, and I don't know what to do about it. Well, how are they cutting you out of the funeral? They just have asked if I can do anything or like or anything like that, and they haven't let me do anything, send any pictures in or anything. Did they just not like? Did they not like you, or do they blame you for his death? What's what's? I don't know. I think maybe because we were both in the program, so like we were both addicts, and I think maybe they think that he overdosed. How did he die? And it was my fault. He just died oh. in his sleep. We don't know yet. Okay. So they well, think look, it might they have can't been COVID. Keep... But sure. Um, yeah, it's a lot of people die of COVID in their sleep. Um, well, I I don't know. Or brain injury. It like for real was not drugs though. Like a hundred. 20 percent i guarantee it so that's what's frustrating and Look, don't take it don't weeks. take it personal but uh they're not going to keep you from going to the funeral go to the fucking funeral i, I know you want to participate but it sounds to me like you don't have like a lot of uh legal wiggle room but that yeah. being said uh i don't know i don't uh, here's the other thing like they can't they can't keep people from speaking at funerals but I don't know if you're going to have your shit together enough to talk. So why don't you just go to the funeral and mourn them in your own way? You don't need their acceptance to mourn your man. You're right. Yeah. Thank you, Jude. Yeah. Like, the, okay. I, the, don't get emotions usually run really high during death and you, you, you stick them other places where they don't need to be. So, like, this, this sounds like a fight you don't need to be having. Just fucking... Just go to the fucking funeral and mourn them. Yeah, that's true. All right, cool. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Sorry, and sorry about Appreciate the death it. of your your boyfriend. Yeah, thank you. And, and try not to relapse throughout throughout this shit. It's... All right, wh who's next? Bradley. What's next? Bradley, Oklahoma. Bradley. Hi. Uh... Hey, uh, I just had a quick question. Um, I was talking to this girl this morning at a restaurant I stopped by, and I asked her out on a date and everything. She said, yeah, that's cool, and uh, didn't even ask her name or age first, and then I asked if she what her age was. She said she was 17. My question is, hey. should I even, like, should, should I hey. wait till she turns 18 and see what's up, or just leave her alone? Uh, I don't know. I'll check and see what's legal in whatever state you're in, and then go from there. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, okay, awesome. Thanks. But I would I would be concerned of, about the fact that she didn't tell you her age. Like, yeah, yeah, I would. And expe I, I, especially I, I if it's an eighteen and up. If if you're in an eighteen and up fucking state, he is. She's, he is. He That's is. Her. Yeah, eighteen. Man, she's trying to get. Man, fuck her, dog. I'd stay the fuck away from her ass. <laughs> okay, hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you. She man. obviously you doesn't value you. your freedom. What? She's trying to deny my freedom. That she said. I said she doesn't value your freedom. If shit goes bad, you should throw your ass under the goddamn yeah. bus. No, that's one hundred percent. And then you're then there's what some the fucking then then you're you're in there as a one of those fucking sex crime fucking people. Hmm. Put them on the list. What? Chomos. Well, you know, the, 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 you'll be in there as a chomo. I don't fuck with that shit. Um, even though you can, you can tell him she was 18. I thought she was 18. It is different, but still it's, uh, 
I, I've, I know, I've known cats that dude, dudes will be dating a girl and then the parents will fucking break bad and get a motherfucker locked up. And next thing you know, his whole life has just changed. Um, uh, who's next? Let's go with John in New York City. Johnny. What's going on, Rude? I'm a big fan, man. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. What's your problem? Yeah, so I'm in a... Sorry, hold on one second. All right, hello? Your biz. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, man. Apologize. No, you fine. Yeah, so I, throughout the years, I fell into debt, man. Um, A little back history. I'm a hustler. I've been in the military right. eight and a half years. I did six MP, two military mm. intelligence. I trained with a unit. Um, and then I came out. I did the whole security thing. Ran that right. shit for a while. Still, actually, right. eleven years. Anyways, I fell into debt from basically trying to make the positive move for the family. You know, I got out of the bouncing routine, and then I started trying to do a paint company. It kind of went under. My wife got sick. She had a blood clot in her lung, so mm -hmm. and then out the hospitals for the whole year. And then you know, I caught a break. You know, sometimes right. life gives you that when you hustle hard. And okay. I got into the union. Okay. So I'm in an electrician's union. Nice. And I'm getting busy with it. But they send you to college. You, you know, you got to be on top of it. And you get, you know, you got to start so off the bottom. So I'm making 17 an hour. And then right now, I'm in Discover suing me for five grand. And I don't have it. I haven't paid any of my bills since I got into the union just because I can't. Well, here's the deal. Like, if uh, if you talk to them and like come up with some type of payment program, I th uh, that's 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 what they want. They want the payment pro. They they just want they just want. Yeah, the so they reached program. out to me a bunch of times, but now I got served by the court. That's well, still the same thing. I would. I'd still call them up. They, it might be. I don't know if it's too. I don't know if it's too far gone or not. I don't know how that shit. I don't know how that shit goes. Um now here's the uh, other thing i have a 401k with the union and i already yeah. got up to eight racks i could pull it out but i don't want to just pull it out and waste it and do something stupid i don't know if i should just pay these guys in full or should i get a lawyer consumer attorney affairs lawyer i'm not sure what should i do it's kind of it's kind of uh, don't they have that, those things where you can call up and they'll negotiate down like for you to pay half of it and be paid up or some shit like that i'm not I, I don't yeah. know. I don't, I'm I'm not an expert on this shit. Um, using that, using some of the money from your 401k to knock that shit out, it's not the worst idea. It's not the best idea, but it sounds to me like you got plenty of time to fucking to uh, do the work. Up. Yeah, but they're gonna they're gonna tax the shit out of it too, so it'll probably wipe you clean. Yeah, and then you're gonna Man. have to start all over from scratch. But if that's all the debt that you have. Or is there more? There's more, but that's the one that's like that's right the one that's proceeding right now. Well, like on I, me. you know, yeah, yeah. Look, then I think what you which the thing that you need to learn that you have learned. I'm hoping is that when when collecting agencies call, answer, and figure out a way. Look, they just <laughs> man, they just. They just even if even they if you're get paying, something, they want yeah, something. they just want to get they want to get something. They want to pay something. They want you to pay something down. The, they'll negotiate with you to get some money. They're just trying to get some money. They're just trying to get some of their money back. They don't want zero. They don't want zero dollars. Thinking this way though, am I wrong for thinking this way? I mean, I feel like I pay back people around me before I even pay them back. Nah, like that's my stupid. daughter. My daughter's eight years old. She lends me money. I'm paying her back. I'd rather well, you should her don't borrow money from stop borrowing money from your eight year old daughter. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to live, man. We got two kids, and I didn't expect to have two brand new cars and then make seventeen an hour. It's killing. Well, me. Well, the thing is, well, like that's like look at your spending. You bought two brand new cars. You could have bought like a beater or some shit like that. Like you're, you're living outside but of your means. Going to be good back then. Yeah, you're living outside of your means, so maybe you need to fucking take yeah. take a look take a look around your house and see the shit that you don't need. Truly, get rid of that. Tighten up your belt buckle and fucking start paying down this shit because right now the stuff that you have a brand new car is a luxury and you can't afford a luxury. You don't deserve that. Roger that. It's you true. know what I'm saying? 
Like, look, it's funny, man. We got to this point where we everybody feels like they deserve luxuries, like going out to eat and this and that. These are our luxuries, man. Like, if you don't got the money for that, don't fucking do it because you're, you're going to get yourself in trouble uh, or you're not going to be able to save long long run like uh so cut cut back on all cut back on all the bullshit that you don't need uh i would um discipline your emotions type of thing like stop impulsing stop going yeah things that i want to just go for I feel yeah like basically in a press cycle of society though it, it like i feel like man sometimes that's the only way out it's the only way to get out of your realistic bullshit that you got going on in life but you're right yeah, but that's only it's only like every time I buy something, I I use consumer therapy. Every time I do that, like it feels good for a second and yeah. I have it. Like right now I'm looking at a pair of six hundred dollar shoes that I wear sometimes. You know what I mean? It's just like felt good buying them, but like, you know, it's it's just it's consumer therapy. It's 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 empty. You got you got something deeper going on. You got deeper stress that needs to be handled, and buying shit is not the answer, especially for you, bro. Because yeah. all it's gonna do is lead to more debt and more stress. So you gotta I'm fucking to you got you gotta I stop it right now. Pounds. I just beat diabetes. I was focused on that for a while, so I took my focus off on what I was doing, buying things. I didn't even like pay attention. I was so driven to lose the weight. They had me on injections and pills for the rest of my life. They were telling me. You know, yeah, and then you look at I, see, look at that. Like you, you can beat whatever. You can beat whatever. You, you, you came from the military, man. Like you, tight. Like you yeah. understand what it is to be disciplined. You, you were slipping, unslip. True, true. Tighten Thank it up, bro. Appreciate Tighten it. Tighten up. You got it. You got this shit. And as far as like using the four hundred one k to um, pay down the, pay down the the discover talk to somebody that's more financially smarter than i am i'm I'm not that bright when it comes to that shit i don't i don't know if i don't know if that's a good move or a bad move to be all the way real with you i appreciate your transparency bro thank you all right man be well uh yeah man you got to tighten it up y'all don't live outside your means if, if you're starting to go into debt stop and look be like do i need cable do i you know what i mean like do you do do I need this cable package or can I just get away with having a having an internet? Like I get it, everyone needs the internet. Like, but do you need the cable package? Do you need to be leasing a new car? Do you, you know like ride the bus? Everybody can't you just you can, you can buy like a you you can buy a used Toyota? You know what I mean? Like, I've never seen so many fucking new cars out on the road. Everyone everyone leases. They're paying three hundred a month and then two hundred on insurance. It's like you work a regular fucking job. Like what? Like what are you doing? Just buy a fucking car for ten grand. You know what I mean? Like I'm drive that bitch for five years. Got Jasmine in Arizona. Yo, Jazz. Hey, so here's my situation. My husband wants to do like an open marriage, but like one ended. He only wants to bring in females. Um, he doesn't want me to be able to fuck dudes. Like I am bisexual, but like at the end of the day, I want a dick. So say no. I have done that and it's a constant fight. Like. I'm he doesn't understand. He doesn't understand. He, he does. He's selfish, and he's just gaslighting you. And if he can't see that he's selfish, then he's delusional. Okay. An open marriage like, is exactly that. It's an open marriage. You, you yeah. get to fuck who you want to fuck, and he fucks who they. And I, and I'm sure you guys can veto shit, but like, he can't veto all the dick. Right. Yeah, I ain't asking him to like have the dude in the same bed with me like i'm willing right, right. to give him the threesomes with the females when he wants but like on our nights off when he goes to his place and i go to my place yeah. it shouldn't matter if it's if it's a male or a female but it's a really big like he's really fucking jealous super fucking well, jealous t- well, i think just i think i think that's the like look man we cannot have an open relationship with you being this jealous it's just not going to work and it's it's okay. not fair that you get to fuck 
fucking I got a homie that uh gaslit his fucking woman like that, but you know. She's easily swayed. He was like, All right, you get gotcha. to fuck girls and I get to fuck girls. You know what I mean? Like I was like, Okay, that's that, yeah, and that's that when fair. I was like, "Fuck no!" Like, uh, uh-uh, I, I want, I need a dick at the end of the day. Well, there you go. Like, pussy is fine and all, but it's just not everything, in yeah, my yeah. opinion. I'm not a dude, yeah. so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it, even like you know, I think with open relationships, I think it's good to fucking um, I, I like I, the way I would structure it is. You go to the other person's house. You don't stay the fucking night. You right. let people know what you're going to do no. before, ahead of time. Like, these are all things. These are all things that I would do for an open relationship to make it work. But it's it, he don't want an open relationship. He just wants to fuck chicks. Yes, I agree. And he wants he wants you so to I'm ride the bench and maybe eat some. Maybe eat the eat some pussy every now and again for his for his amusement. Oh it's yeah, t- he wants to see my lesbian side come out on like yeah. full force and yeah, like it's totally one sided. What about you just doing doing three like you diking out and doing threesomes and he doesn't get to fuck other girls without you in the room? Would that be would that be uh some a compromise you'd be willing to have or no? Nah? To do a threesome without him, like no, all to do it. No, it's like you, you, another girl, and him. Is that a compromise you'd be willing to have? Oh yeah, I'll do that. But I want to know all that right. I can still fuck somebody else if I want to. Well, no, well, I'm just saying That's he doesn't get we... to fuck. Any, I'm, I'm saying he doesn't get to fuck anyone else if you're not in the same place, and you don't either. Oh, and you guys okay. have threesomes. Would that be a, Would that be a compromise you're willing to have? I'm, I'm asking. Yeah, I guess I could settle for that. Well, there you go. I would, I would come back. I would, I would be like, look, man, like, you, you don't want to have an open relationship. You want all the pussy, and I don't get any of the dick. But this is what I'm willing to do. We can have threesomes. I pick the girl. Boom. All right, I'm gonna surprise him then, cause I already got one lined up. There you go. So, so yeah, and, and like. Th- that way he gets some strange, you get some strange, and you don't have to fucking sit there on the couch watching some fucking uh, reruns of like reruns of fucking real housewives while he's fucking some chick that you never met. You know what I mean? Like it's, that's got to be a shitty feeling, especially if you don't get to do the same thing. Look at me saving fucking marriages. Wow. Got uh, Alyssa in Georgia. She the last one? Yeah. Alyssa, you the last one? Go ahead. Hey, this is Alyssa from Georgia, and I'm wondering if I should go into stripping because my day job is not going to pay back my debt. Are you comfortable with it? or? I mean, I like I have a pole at home, and I you know, I like doing it. It's fun and, you know. I I mean I don't know I've never done it I don't know if I'm comfortable doing it. The main thing with stripping is not about being good at stripping; it's being good at talking dudes out of their fucking money. All right. True. True. So you got to ask yourself: Am I good at talking men out of their fucking cash? Because most of these dudes just go there and they just want some attention. So you get you get a couple customers. You know what I mean? And then maybe down the road they're gonna they're gonna want to try to fuck, so you're gonna have to know how to either fend them off or uh, give up the pussy, one of the two. But these are things that you have to think about when becoming a stripper. If you want, if you want to actually make some money, you need to get some customers. I do have a boyfriend too, and he was saying like, I don't know if I can be comfortable like with that. Do you think that's something I should, like, consider? Or should I just, like, if I want to do it, I'm going to do it, like, fuck the rest of it? Uh, no. Well, no, I think you should consider that. It's not like he date. It's not like he started dating a stripper. You know what I mean? It's not that's like true. you knew what it was. He was dating, he's dating a square, and now you want to strip. So him being not okay with it is okay. Are you willing to sacrifice? Now you have to be like, am I willing to sacrifice the relationship to make some money? And that 
that's your next question you need to ask yourself. You don't need to answer that right now, but it sounds to me like that's where it's going to go. Do you think that's something that I could, like, persuade him? Because really, I mean, it's not like like you're going and, like, just, like, dancing in front of other dudes and getting naked in front of other dudes. Like, you're going to work. You know what I'm saying? You, your, your titties like, you are still that, out, and you're just you're still grinding on some stranger's fucking hard on. Like, let's... True, true. Let's not let's not sugarcoat this here. You're still a sex worker. Yeah, he didn't true. he didn't start dating a sex worker. You're be, you're becoming a sex worker and asking him to deal with it. Damn, that's true. So what I'm saying is, if he doesn't want to deal with it, then you're, the next thing is, is are you willing to sacrifice your relationship? And that's something you need to ask yourself. I'm not sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So th there you yeah. go. Heavy shit. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Um, ne ne hey, next time someone has to be a stripper, get get their pictures, and then I can probably tell them a lot easier. Well, she's still online. Let me see if I can figure that out. Frown. You're like, no, don't, <laughs> don't, don't do it. Here's, here's the bad news. Here, I got good news and bad news. You're gonna. <laughs> good news is you're gonna keep your boyfriend. Bad news is you're too ugly to be a stripper. Hey. J.K. Rollins. Um. Uh. Yeah. So, there it is. Won't there it is. Uh. All right. So, th that was uh. What would you do? I saved lives. You're welcome. Let's go. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. Hey, that was What Would You Do? Thank you to everyone that called up with your problems. It's not easy to reach out and ask for some help. I know that. Um, I've, I've been in the same place. But it's important that you do, and you did. Coming up next, we got uh, we got all types of news. I, I don't know what it's about yet. What, what's the news about? Uh, let's see. I don't give a fuck. Uh, <laughs> now, what is it about? Uh, Jake Paul, he's uh, making some trouble out there. There it is, Jake Paul. He's one of them internet motherfuckers. And then... Uh, should you date your best friend? Should you date your best friend? I got my own, I, I got my own ideas on that, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. And... Um, uh, peer pressure from computers. We'll tell you all about that. How computers are peer pressuring people. It's not they're all. That's not all they're doing to people. Peer pressure. Uh, computers are really doing a number on us. But this is just one of the many little things. So we're gonna dis we're gonna discuss that and more on news from the chin. Oh, guess what? Go to one more Jew dot com and we got the uh, we got a new hyena t shirt. We got the motherfucking we got the hummingbird hoodie and I think we got some hummingbird beanies. For Christmas this Christmas and the I am rude Jude mug to show motherfuckers how you keep it one hundred one zillion billion trillion. All right. All right. That's one more Jude.com. Click on that shit. Should be right up at the top. All right. Let's go. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. And now it's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. I have a couple of relationship experts who are addressing the question of whether or not you should date your best friend. Something that some people... I'm going to go ahead and say probably no. That uh, appears to be addressed right out of the gate. Certainly if you're just doing it for yourself out of convenience, you're tired of trying to, to find some lover with strangers all the time, you already relate to this person. you got to make sure that you're doing it because you really want to be with them. And not because you're doing it for convenience. It's that risk reward thing. It's all about risk and reward. So just 
if shit goes great, yeah, it's great. You got like the fucking match made in heaven. But like, if it goes bad, you just lost a friend. That's exactly what they worry about here. Yeah, and people are cool, and then you stick your dick in them, and it changes things. Sounds like you've done this. How many friends? It'll bring out the crazy in somebody. No, I've just seen it, dog. Like I've seen, like, oh, we're just best friends, and then fucking. As soon as I start fucking, it brings out the crazy in the person. I think they're doing this. It's just like, God, like, yo, you trusted that motherfucker for the last seven years. Now, all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, you're fucking freaking out on, on the person and shit. I, I wouldn't do it. So you've never done it? You've never even thought I about fucked it? Friend, I fucked friends and, like, not even dated, but, like, fucked them and had it casual and had had it really be a stress on the relationship. And shit was never the same. Were you guys still friends at some point or no? Yeah, and then the worst part is that then they get, like, a fucking boyfriend and suddenly you're not as welcome. You know what I mean? You're like, ah. Uh. Oh, right. Whether they say it or not, like, it's in the air that used to fuck the person. So now now you can't even be, like, homies with the fucking person because, well, it just all depends on the fucking, it all depends on their boyfriend. But, you know, it can it can make things a little bit sticky. That one had not occurred to me when I was thinking yeah. about this. Yeah, even if, even if everything goes, like... Let's say let's say it doesn't work out and you have like a decent breakup. The next the next person they start hanging out with, they they'll either ask or they'll be able to tell. And half the people will not give a fuck, and then the other half it's gonna be a fucking it'll, it's gonna be weird. Right. And they also point out here you should evaluate how you treat your exes. Whether or not you're friends with them afterwards, is this other person friends with their exes afterwards, and you can sort of gauge the danger that way. Huh. How so? Well, I mean, if the person that you're hoping to uh, start screwing around with and then, you know, things go south, is that person going to dump you? Oh, yeah, yeah, and they burn it down. Yeah, They're like, like, fuck, fuck Jim. I'm not hanging out with him anymore. He's a right. fucking piece of shit. You're like, I thought you loved him. <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. He's a fucking asshole. You're like, all right. Okay. F fair enough. But you generally fair enough. You generally take a dim view of that being friends with exes, it seems. I'm cool with exes. My one ex, we don't talk at all. We haven't talked in years. And then the other ex, we talk on and off. Like when my pop died, she called up a few times to check on me and shit. So... But she knew him, you know. That's loving. Yeah. We went, we, we went way back. But back to the Michigan days. Generally speaking, you're saying dating friends pass, it sounds like. I would. Yeah. I would pass. You really got to fucking, um, I don't know, man. If you're willing to not be friends with them. Like, and then I guess you guys weren't that good of friends. You know what I mean? Just know that, like, this might turn out to y'all not being cool with each other ever again. Oh, man. Ever. And then finally, they go into some ways of bringing it up. Um, ask them casually. Have they attempted to date a friend in the past? How did it go? Do they have a policy of never hooking up with friends? This just sounds awkward as fuck, but. I think that's some shit that you would need to bring up after you've uh, established yeah. that, like, all right, we have some type of attraction, because the other way it sounds fucking weird as hell. It's yeah. like, oh, by the way, have you, have you fucked any of your friends? Not, <laughs> not that I'm interested. Just making It's a good movie. Yeah. Let's keep watching The Notebook. All right. It's fucking good. Yeah. So you never, never, just out of curiosity, asking for a friend. Have you ever fucked a friend? No. Me neither. Me neither. Totally wouldn't do it. Ugh. Yeah. I know. I know. All right. So I didn't really want to bring this up, but a lot of people are talking about Jake Paul, so I will. And it's Man, just... Jake Paul is fucking... Yo, this guy is... He is a money-making machine. 
God. He's figured it out, dog. He's figured it out. He sounds like you got some respect for him, but he seems like such a dick. He's a douche. <laughs> we, he's a fucking douche. You saw it, uh, yeah. like if you if you you guys saw the fucking. And uh, I wish I wish we really could have taped that one. That one really, we we I re really wish we could have taped the Jake Paul interview because he was like, "Yeah, man, I'm fucking raw as hell, man." How come I haven't been on here before? I'm like, because we're raw. He's like, man, I'm raw as hell. And the whole time I talked to him, he just had his head down. He couldn't even fucking answer or anything. I was like, you, I'll take you. It was like we took him into the deep end. He was, a little he was not ready. He was a little uncomfortable. Oh, he was <laughs> not ready. And he was promoting another fight. But like this, this, uh, him, like he knocked out Nate Robinson, the tiny basketball player. And he's going to fight Floyd Mayweather and get beat up. And now he's fucking shitting on Conor McGregor's fucking wife. Oh, it's terrible. So he posted this, this video yesterday, if you want to hear it. Yeah, let me hear. What the fuck is up, you Irish cunt? Good morning, Conor McGregor. I know you're probably beating up old dudes in a bar right now. Or maybe you're jacking <laughs> off because you're sick of fucking your wife. I mean, she's a four, Conor. You could do a lot better. But happy Monday. My team sent you a $50 million offer this morning. $50 million cash, proof of funds. The biggest fight offer you've ever been offered, but you're scared to fight me, Connor. You're ducking me because you don't want to lose to a fucking YouTuber. You're 0-1 as a boxer. I'm 2-0 as a boxer. I just came off the eighth biggest pay-per-view event in history, but you want to fight Dustin Prober, who has less followers on Instagram than my fucking dog. That's a fact. Yeah. And Dana White, you're a fucking pussy too, you ugly fucking bald bitch. You said there's 0% chance of this fight happening, but there's 0% chance of you getting some fucking pussy. Connor, you're scared. Dana, you're scared. Sign the fucking contract, you idiots. Jesus fucking Christ. Irish bitch. Now he's got the, what the, the, the Irish flag on his on his back. Hey, yo. Hey, someone's got to be a bad guy. I think he, like, ever since Suicide Forest, he was just like, fuck it. I think he tried to climb back from that, and then he was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna I'm just gonna be the bad guy. Hell he's succeeding. You know he's the bad guy when you got more people wanting fucking like him to get beat up by Floyd Mayweather than the opposite. Because Mayweather is like usually the shit talking like troll, but he's become the shit talking troll. And Mayweather is gonna beat his ass. And I think McGregor will fucking get him too. Except for I don't I don't know I, I don't know I, I don't know I haven't really seen him fight it, ha, is he improving or of course no he's training with very serious people but at the same time it's just not the same there's no way that he can compete with these world class athletes it's yeah just, but McGregor was, McGregor you also you see McGregor boxing he didn't look that good dude true Mayweather kind of just played with him for fucking. Mayweather played with him for seven rounds, let him gas himself, and then just fucking TKO'd him. I like, did, I clearly didn't take it. It was, like, it was like Mayweather was fighting his fucking little cousin or some shit. That's what it looked like to me. In hindsight, when you're watching, you're like, oh, 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 and then you're like, oh, wait, this was just all part of his plan. A few, a few rounds in, you're like, oh, he's just toying with this fucking dude. Clearly not, not at all worried about McGregor. Yeah, but again, you've got another world class athlete fighting another one, so it's just it just seems completely different to me. I mean, I could be wrong, but yeah. I, I don't see how that that would work out. Look, man, like either either fucking Conor McGregor will beat the shit out of Jake Paul, which everybody will love to see, or fucking Jake Paul will upset Conor McGregor, and the fight the fight will happen. There's too much money out there. Possible, too much money out there. But Dana White is saying that it's not going to happen. I mean, first of all, uh, you know, uh, McGregor does have a real fight coming up in January, so he's got to think about that. But yeah, he's got that, and then afterwards, I mean, life's long. He he might fight him in a year, for all I fucking know. You know what I mean? And and it's like, that's the other thing too. It's like, look, I'm not even saying like Jake Paul's not even that good at talking shit. But these boxers and fighters, the first thing they do is they go to their hands. So like, 
seeing seeing a fighter that's really good at talking shit is pretty fucking rare. Like McGregor's decent at talking shit, but like compared to a shit talker, he's not that great. You know what I'm saying? Oh, sure. Those press conferences we were running back in the day, they got a little little embarrassing over time. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, you know, these guys clearly talk with their hands. You know what I mean? So Jake Paul, Jake Paul is more of a shit talker than that, than him, and he's not even that good at it. He's not even that good at it. Well, Nate Dana Dan- White, you'll never get any pussy. Like, what? What are you fucking talking about? You bald fuck. You bald fuck, you'll never get pussy. Like, what? What, what are you talking about? Fucking... You blonde lumberjack looking motherfucker. Like, what the fuck are you, what are you saying right now? Nate Diaz is having none of this. He, of course, is getting involved. You can't really fight dumb shit. You're going to end up with your ass whooped for real. Some are talking like that. And, boy, the thing, too, is Nate Diaz beat up Conor McGregor. So if Jake Paul beats up Conor McGregor, that's going to fucking make it look like, uh, make his win look less impressive. True. So Nate Diaz, Nate, Nate Diaz, I'd love to see Nate Diaz, Nate Diaz fight him. Nate Diaz will fucking beat the brakes off that motherfucker. This is just, I, I think you're giving Jake Paul too much credit, but I'm, I didn't say I'm, uh, I, look, I'm saying he's, all I'm saying is McGregor's not a natural boxer. I'm, that, that's all I'm. That's all I'm saying. He's just not a natural boxer, and with, so, I, I don't think he'll make as quick a work of him as he would if it was an MMA. Like MMA, he'd fucking demolish him and fuck. It. He would that that Jake Paul wouldn't make it more than a minute and a half. Oh, but with boxing, he just has better chance. That's all I'm saying. In MMA, he would get dropped within twenty seconds. It just depends on how yeah. quickly he wanted to take him out, really, right. honestly. It would really depend on how quickly, he, like, how, how, how long he wanted to toy with this fucking dude. We'll see. So, but again. I think, hey, look, it's fucking, like, people, people are running out of shit to watch. And to be real with you, like, boxing has turned into a joke. No, no, nobody can make real matches. And even the real matches that are made, like fucking, you know, the judging is so fucking iffy on this shit. It's like whoever's got the whoever's got the fucking Nike deal or fucking Bob Arum backing them, they win the fucking fight. Or Oscar De La Hoya, wh- whoever's with Golden Boy is gonna win the fucking fight. Like you know what I mean? Like if you don't knock the motherfucker out and it goes to the scorecards, like this shit's so goddamn crooked. So. Boxing made itself a joke in many respects. So him coming in and cheapening it doesn't really make... I'm not that bummed out by it. Boxing cheapened itself. And he's just, he's just, he's just hopping on. Getting his money. And like I said, like I'm fucking not a fan of Jake Paul. I'm just... Like his hustle. I like all these dudes' hustles. And he's got access to fifty million dollars. That's impressive in and of itself. Oh yeah, that guy. He he made a rap song and it went like number one. Like first rap song. He just decided to make a rap song and it was like number one on the fucking on iTunes. Awful, just That's absolutely crazy. awful rap song. It was like what people make in their basement. You know what I mean? Drunk. It was like number one. That sh- that shows you like how many fucking tweens follow this dude. But, yeah, people love to hate this guy, so they want to see him get beat up. It's bound to happen at some point. Someone's going to do it. Nate Robinson didn't. He did not. (laughs) He fucking... Well, he was tiny, Uh. but whatever. So they're now looking at how AI, artificial intelligence, all these robots around us now, how they're affecting our... Oh desire to take more risks and it turns out that these robots are pushing humans into taking more risks and how well they did this study and there were some students in a room and then the 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 robots were encouraging certain students to come on keep going for it keep doing it and those 
uh, suckers, uh, they would actually start taking more risks. And those without the robot encouraging them did not do that. So, so the students students succumb to robot peer pressure. Exactly. Huh. And I think that's just come on in general. Can't get pregnant the first time, yeah. Jenny. I'll pull out. Come on, just one time. yeah. <laughs> Let me just put the tip in. Come on, you can do it. Drink a Coca Cola afterwards. You'll be fine. This is true, even outside of robots. I mean, are you susceptible to peer pressure these days? I, I think we all are. Like, and and if if you think that you're the the second you think you're not susceptible to peer pressure or to to be fucking influenced one way or another is when you're the most vulnerable. Me knowing that I'm susceptible to peer pressure uh, gives me a better chance to fight peer pressure. You can see it coming. I might be able to. Sometimes I won't. Other times I will. But like, if you're like, I no, no, no one can peer pressure me. Psh, you'll get peer pressured. Come on, you do it. You'll get peer pressured. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think uh, I'm trying to think back. That one day, who was the, who was the lady uh, that we had in the studio? The uh, stripper lady who was trying to sell her virginity. I don't. I don't think you really wanted to kiss her at first, and then we were egging you on, and then finally. It was one of look, man. For <laughs> on the show, like real talk on the show. If I say I'm gonna do some shit, I just fucking do it. You know, right. like there, there, there's been so many times where if I say I'm gonna do. Like you're on the radio, your word is all you have. So if you say you're gonna do the fucking thing, you just got to do it. Right. Like I've, I've done way worse shit than that. Oh, of course. Then urinated on, fisted, fucking, you know what I mean? Just shit that is just totally depra deprived, depraved, depraved. K kissing that chick was lightweight, and it's n and it's something I still blocked out of my brain. I was just like, oh, that never happened. I watched that later, and I just, oh Ugh. man. I know, right? Good thing she was a virgin. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah. So, yeah, there's that. Well, just be careful. All these little robots are starting to push us in certain directions. We don't Where are the them. robots coming from? Like, that's that's what I want to know. What what are they like Twitter bots or some shit or like well, I mean, that that's a given. They're out there trying to influence people, but uh just in in general, like these little things are going to start popping up on our computers. They're going to start, you know, on our phones and things like that. To, push us in certain directions just be you already constant. like I, like even on my ebay they'll be like you got fucking these glasses because they know i collect glasses i'll be like oh these fucking 10 minutes left to get these glasses that i didn't even want in the first place now i'm looking at glasses like oh i only got 10 minutes so they're already doing weird shit like that trying to push you in different directions yeah i didn't i haven't gotten any of the glasses yet but who knows it's funny, I collect eyeglasses. I only brought like eight pairs with me, and I, I feel like I'm like, I need more glasses because I'm so used to wearing so many different kinds. Eight pairs of glasses is a lot of glasses, dude. Like, it's ridiculous. That's insane. I think. I know, and I'm like, I need more glasses. I have one working pair and a couple that are all scratched up as backups. I know, and, and, the, and some of the ones, like, the, one, the ones I gave you were for like, walking around and you turn them into fucking sunglasses that you probably sunglasses. never even wear no i did but they, yeah. they they were lost during one of my fiascos at night jesus fucking christ yeah, i was lost a lot that night you lost the goatees i'm actually wearing goatees right now you lost the goddamn goatees you and migos you could have been like migos <laughs> john would have been like migos with his little goatees Except for that was before Migo started wearing them, bitches. Um, all right, what else? So I came across this advice column, and this was in the in the post, and they were okay. being asked the question, "Can I just skip my lame office Zoom holiday party?" And that's a yes. Well, you could, but that's the better answer and the one that I agree with in practice. Just fucking go to the thing. Yeah, it's kind of lame. Why? Because people, your, your coworkers are there. I don't know, I'm man. I'm not going to that shit. Well, I know you're not going. So I'm going to skip it, so. <laughs> All right, well, you, you would, uh, people would pass out if they saw you in one of these things. But, yes, we d we do have these things. A Zoom office party? Sure. That's everything I'm against. <laughs> I know. It's, <laughs> it's not for like, everybody. That's everything I'm fucking against. It's not for like, everybody. Yeah, yeah. 
I already don't like office parties. The only good thing about the office party is the free shit. Last year's office party with Pandora, they were fucking assholes. Hey. They were. I, I, I know some of these people now. Oh, uh, yeah. They were. Yeah. Well, I hope maybe they're nicer <laughs> now, but boy, they were really feeling themselves. Yeah. You'd have thought that they bought us. Like, wow. They were having a party. I remember. They really thought they were really on their own dicks. I was like, all right, Pandora. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I did not. I did not enjoy myself at that office party. I was just like, ugh. And and this. The whole point of the office party is the your the whole point of the office party is your employers are grateful that you work there so they throw a fucking little shindig for you. So now I don't get a shindig, but you're eating up two hours of my time and I just have to sit there and drink beer that I bought myself and eat like a hot dog that I that I made. Sounds about right. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <All right. laughs> <laughs> Miss me with that, dog. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'll be there. Yeah, sign me up. I will sign, send your sign love. Sign me up for the office party. Yeah, send me the fucking link. I'll be there. Jew says hello. That's what I'll do. Don't even say that. I won't. Jew says this is bullshit. Call me, when, call me when we're allowed to hang out together. It's fucking stupid ass shit. Damn. Well... Now again, the uh, New York Post takes the position of yes, just go and suck it up, and I would I would support that plan, but not for you. What are they, right. like? Come on, man. By the way, get this—they're having uh, office uh, talent shows too. I've I've not attended those. They're having office talent shows. Let's not get too deep into that. That's the last. Ah, okay. Oh I, my I, I, move god. On. Move, move on. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you gotta, I gotta hear some fucking. <laughs> I, I gotta hear some fucking DJ do the uh, an acoustic set. These are lovely people. Fucking Alanis set acoustic. Hey. Is it ironic? They've got talent. It's like rain on your wedding day. Uh, I imagine there's gonna be some stand up comedy in there. Break up the harmonica. Who knows? Maybe some spoken word. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. Fucking shoot myself. All right. Just thought I'd throw it out there. Thanks, Sirius. Right, stop. How about you just open up the fuck? Why don't you guys just open up the goddamn offices so we can work? It's coming. Instead of fucking Zoom Christmas parties. Give me a fucking break, dude. The light is at the end of the tunnel. I can see. <laughs> the tunnel's fucking 12, 12 months away. <laughs> I can see the shore. Keep paddling. We'll be fine. Okay. I, I do have some good news. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Give me some good. And give me some fucking good, good news. news. Yeah. All right, I've got a guy, and he is. Let's see. He was a homeless high school dropout. Hey. And he became the CEO of a billion-dollar company. And I bring this nice. up only because what's, it's just amazing. Um, what's the company? The company is called, uh, where is it, Sun Asterisk Incorporated, and now they're over in Vietnam, and he's the chief executive officer, and he's only 37. His name is Taihei Kobayashi, and he was sleeping on the streets of Tokyo. Hey. And, well, the reason is because at some point uh, he didn't want to go to college, and his parents said, get out. And they kicked him out. They just kicked him out, and he had to live on the street. Aw. Well, I'm just... I, oh, poor guy. That, well, hey, it is what it is, but so... He, so he was, but that, yeah, so he was smart enough to know that he didn't want to go to college, so and, his parents put him out on the street, and then he figured out a way to not be a bum. Yeah, and then at some right, point, you, go. Uh, you know, he caught some breaks and realized that he knew how to code, so he got into this company, and again, just at 37, uh, he's the CEO of this billion-dollar company. So, Look at that. Mr. Kobayashi. That's the that's one of the few places uh, in the tech world where, like, the playing field's pretty, They it's pretty even. They just, they don't give a fuck what you are where you're from can can you solve these problems you know can you solve these coding problems Next. yeah he didn't even know how to code initially he just took a logic yeah. test and some math tests and they said yeah. you, you're our guy yeah my homie was telling me that uh his his uh his company they hired like a 15 year old kid from brazil 
they have these like open source things that like you can fucking fuck around on and like kind of test your aptitude with and this 15 year old kid would just smash and shit so they they hired him changes his whole life yeah it's like one of the few this is one of the few places where like you don't have to hop through the whole college bullshit they just you know it's like can you do it yes or no so that's dope good for him good for him he's making a lot of money i imagine so hell yeah that's the news you're listening to the All Out Show with you. Hey, I, I know you're you, not used to hearing from me like right after the news, but apparently I totally shit the bed with that Jake Paul and Jake Paul thing. So they're, there's br- they're brothers, Jake and Logan Paul. And one of them is fighting Mayweather and the other one is trying to fight Conor McGregor, I believe. I didn't, I didn't realize that. I thought they were the same person. Sort of an interchangeable. It kind of shows you what I know. Not much. Certain shit. Certain shit. When I fuck up, I'm like, oh, I'm an idiot. This shit, psh, I don't give a fuck. They're just two internet guys. What do you want me to fucking do? A couple in- internet billionaires or millionaires. So yeah, Jake's Jake's one. The other the other guys fighting Mayweather, and uh, I think everybody wants to see them get beat up. That's that's the main thing. That's no the common thread. Yeah. The common thread is everyone wants to see him get their ass whooped. So there it is. All right, we're going to play some music and uh, be done with the show. Let's go. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. All right, that was the show. I want to thank everybody for calling up on uh, What Would You Do? Also, shout out to Kanan, associate producer and handles all of our social media. If you want to, if you want mixes or just to want to know what's going on, text 213-205-3747. That's my community. I'm part of community. Me and P. Diddy. We don't talk that much, but you know, we're both on community. Uh, 213-205-3747 for texts. Uh, text pill mix if you want mixes. Merch if you want merch. And uh, what else? Um hyena if you want to know about the books and shit like that i did write books that are good i promise you they're not bullshit um all right i think that's it thanks to john z matthews my name is jude angelini this is the all out show and we are out